What is up, guys? Welcome back. I'm Gideon. And I'm Julius, his dad. And right now we're going to be doing something on dirty potato chips. Um, the cilantro and lime. It says original re recipe. And and they look the, they look pretty nice. Dirty potato chips. I'm, we're going to eat some dirty I, potato I, chips. I'm concerned. <laughs> I think we need to be concerned with eating some dirty potato chips. Well, you know what? It's only a... Uh... So, they cook the chips in... in... They cook their chips in, uh, in peanut, peanut butter oil. No, it's a peanut... No, peanut oil blend. In a peanut oil blend. I don't know why. Well, I guess, yeah, because it's going to make it lighter. It's going to taste better in a peanut, peanut oil blend. It's going to taste like peanuts? I, I don't think it's going to taste like peanuts. Okay. Just... I mean, I think a lot of, I think a lot of uh, chip companies actually I do that. I, I think, a lot of chip companies I do think do it's kind of funny that um, on the back for all the ingredients, they made it look really dirty. <laughs> like, oh, because of the color? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's kind of, it is kind of, kind of crazy. So, you want to open, you want to do, open up, open them up? Let's see here. They look like normal chips. You can see the seasoning on them. There you go. See some seasoning in there. Alright, let's try one. Go ahead, try one. I like the way where it's not as perfect to chip. No, they're definitely not perfect. There's nothing perfect but about these. They're, they're... Each chip's different. Really crunchy. Crunchy. Okay. It's not happening. I'm looking for the cilantro. I'm looking for the lime taste, and I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it at all. It just seems like I'm tasting. I'm. I'm eating. I'm eating burnt potato chips, but they don't taste. But they taste like normal potato chips. It's so crunchy. They're crunchy, but they don't taste like. They don't have the taste. Like I'm a, looking for. I'm looking for like cilantro really and lime. Small, They're not tasting like it. I have like a really small taste of lime, but I'm, I'm a little no disappointed. I'm I a little mean, disappointed in this. I'm not feeling it. It seems just so well, hard. Anyway, um, yeah, guys, you could try it out. If I was gonna give it, you know, one out of ten, I'm gonna give it a three. I am not. Um, and I can taste like the lime a little, yeah. and it, it and it's still good chips, but the heart it's it's that there's like they're it's like this it is gets a chip, to a though. point. Yeah, but it, it gets crunchy. It's chip. They're not. It gets to a point where it's too crunchy. Where, you where think it's too crunchy? I, I mean, I don't mind a crunchy chip, but. It's just that it doesn't taste like it's supposed to taste to me. I'm looking for the cilantro taste. I'm looking for that lime taste. I'm not getting that. Mm. I feel cheated, but it's okay. I mean, you know, it's you guys get to try it out for yourselves. You tell us what you think. Um, look up in your nearest store, your nearest grocery. Tell us what you think. Uh, I think we're done with these. I'm, I don't know. I'm not. You want to taste it again? You want to throw it over there? Okay. Yeah. You want to taste it again? Yeah. All right. Um, we're going to move right on to our next thing. I wasn't, you know, kind of, kind of really disappointed in chips, man. Like, I'm not like, we can do a comparison on, on different oh, bars, on these different bars. We have, we have five different protein bars. We have the RX bar, which I've heard a lot about. You know, it's uh, supposed to be all natural bar. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be a really good bar. We have the bare naked. Bare Naked, which is a dark chocolate mocha. Anything using dark chocolate mocha is usually pretty good. Um, we have another Protein Slim Boost Bar. Now, it's like, uh, you know, it's basically, I guess it's, it's like that, that def definitely a diet bar more, of any, if anything at all. It's, uh, you know, a lot of these bars are also gluten-free. We have one, which... I am, you know, I'm really looking forward to actually tasting this bar. I hear it's a really good bar. I hear this is definitely a bar that, uh, that you know, that you know, the 20 grams of protein, a definitely great bar for after workout as soon as you get finished. And then we're going to go to, of course, our traditional Think Thin bar. 
which is like, you know, as one of my wife's favorite bars. It's high protein bar. It's supposed to be a fun bar, so she likes this one a lot. And I'm, we're going to taste it. I'm not, I've, I have not had a thin thin bar at all, ever. So I, I feel a little concerned because I, so it's not going to be too sweet, uh, sweet enough for me. Yeah. Because there's no sugar in it. Oh. I, I, and it, it's, since, it, it, mom doesn't eat, since mom doesn't eat sugar. Yeah, as well as it's alcohol sugar. So, you know, I mean, it's, it may be sweet enough. It may be sweet enough. So let's let's test them out. I'm gonna cut these bars up real quick. We're gonna start with the thin thin bar, and see what we got here. Because as you always know, we don't, we don't taste it until we open it. That is our thing. That's what we're known for. Cut it up. Okay, one for me, one for him. So how's like? How's you could uh, you can like kind of see the. You can see like maybe some go. pretzels. Yeah, it has yeah. a. What do we got in here? This is a brownie crunch bar. Brownie crunch. So. Definitely dark chocolate. Tastes good. It's a good bar. Good see bar. Why. Yeah. You know, see why? I see why 20 grams of protein. Great after workout. Definitely a bar that, um. Yeah, it's a good bar. It's a quality bar. Yeah, it's a bar. Okay. All right. Let's, let's do this bare naked. Let's do this bare naked. As I was going to say always, we open right here in front of you so we're not being biased. Okay. Cut that up. Ooh, that's a nice cut there. It's, it's a, a crunchy. This is a crunchy bar right here. It's a lot of nuts. This is bare naked. And we're, we're, some of you are familiar with bare naked. I think they make drinks, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I heard them before. Check that out. <laughs> it's like over the nuts. It takes over it is, the flavor. This is all natural. This is a it's a crunch almond butter bar. Like Ten almond. grams of protein. <laughs> like almond. Not almond. Woo! All natural. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Wow. Um, yep. This is espresso. Uh, you know, there's a nut bar and espresso. I, mean, I don't know, man. Oh. Uh -huh. so let's, get, let's get into the one bar. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Right now, Think Thin has as definitely is beating out everything else. Let's get into one. I don't know. Bare naked. What does bare naked make? I don't. I've, you know, we've seen them. I before. wonder if bare naked also makes the naked drinks. No, no, they don't make the naked drinks. Okay. See here. It's a smooth cut. I think bare naked makes another bar. Ooh. We'll uh, find out. Mm. We'll find that out. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah, that's a nice color. Let's see here. This is really good. This is a good bar. Simple. Gotta say. Think then. Nah, it's a cookie soda. dough. Chocolate chip cookie dough. It's like, it's like, it's almost as good as Think Then. Because sweet Think Then has more sugar. I believe. It's a lot more sugar in it, but it's a sweeter bar of anything. Say the best for last. Just try this protein. Protein Slim Boost Bar. Doesn't look like a bar. Looks like a cookie. Ugh. More of a cookie. Okay. Looks like a bare naked bar. I don't trust it. <laughs> it has a bare naked bar too, but. I'm gonna use the side of this one. That's good. That's good. It's a good bar. It's a good bar. It's a good bar. It is a good bar. I'm liking this bar. Still stuffing with Think Thin. Think Thin bars are really good. It's. Yeah, I like. It's the salted. It's because of salted caramel. Having that little bit, a little bit of salt added to it, definitely um, 
makes it a nice bar. I like this bar. So, let me try this one. Let me get you, so, let me get you a napkin for your hands. Oh, there we go. Here, grab that. Wipe your hands off. Not about that. Okay. Try this RX bar. And. Oh gosh. It's a little scary. A little scary looking. It's like a crime already, scene. Already, <laughs> I've already. I don't want to prejudge it. I don't want to prejudge it, but. This is one of those all natural, I could tell one of those all natural type bars. Yeah, I mean, the, the ingredients are on the front. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's right there. All right. Chocolate just fell out. My chocolate fell out. No sugar in the chocolate. The dough's really thick. It's not my kind of bar. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of milk. Hey, a lot of milk. Wow. It's really thick. The dough's a too thick. I mean, it's not dough. It's it's. Uh... How much milk is in it? What? Oh, it's a chewy. It's no BS. <laughs> <laughs> and it's one of those type of things that... Mm. Egg roll. Mm. It's one of those type of things that... Mm. Wow. Like those... Like it's a, This is like something where those people are all organics they have. Yeah. I was not organic, but yeah, it's um. This is not me. Wow. Um, it's not vegan because it's eggs. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about this bar. You know what? Let's be honest here. It's not for guys like you and I. Uh -uh. But it's for the person who wants something all natural. It doesn't taste bad. It's just the consistency, the the the, the it's sweetness. It's, it's just it doesn't not want to say consistency. It's the. It's because like we're used the, to eating sweeter food. No, I'm not used to eating all sweet food. I'm yeah, used it's to not eating, really really sweet. But. I'm used to eating a food that's like just has a different texture to it, and you got to get used to the texture. I think it's one of those type of things. After maybe three or four times, I'd be used to it, and I would end up liking it. Um, would I buy it? I don't know. If it's like one of say it's it's I like natural I like I like good stuff. I think it is I don't think it's bad. It's just that after eating the other four bars and then eating this bar. Well, should I have that bar first? We probably would have tasted this bar first, but then we'd have been upset because I think the other bars it was about the peach. Yeah. Mm. Um we're, we're definitely still overwhelmed it and they overwhelmed it in the beginning. I kinda of was very curious about this bar. 12 grams of protein, still a great bar after the gym. Sometimes at the gym, I don't want a whole bunch of sweet. I don't want, I don't want a cookie. I want an actual bar. I want a natural bar. And this is probably what I will get, you know, after the gym for me. You, after after coming from school, you know. Have an Ollie. You know, yeah. It's like, thin. yeah, you're probably going to, you're probably going to think. Do I'll probably have thin. like one of these three right here. Yeah. You definitely do the thing thing. So. Oh, natural bars are just. Yeah. Not so, my type. So, um, that's our bars, guys. And, you know, we look forward to, to you joining our channel and, and checking us out. You know, don't forget to, uh, don't forget to like us as we grow and watch us grow, you know, as, as we grow our channel. So, we will talk to you soon. And till the next time. I'm, I'm getting it. He thinks he's Julius, but <laughs> <laughs> he's getting it. I'm Julius. And we'll catch you guys later. Bye. I'm going to tell you guys, you know what, after been eating my second bar of these RX bars,
they kind of grow on you. They grow on you a lot. I actually like them. I like them a whole lot. That this is my it's my third bar today, and um, I had some things to say in my last video. I was totally wrong if, if I about these bars. They're pretty awesome. They're really they're really good. So I recommend buying them. I do. 12 grams of protein, egg whites, great baked bar for working out with. Definitely my choice, a bar. Catch you guys later.